In this video, I'm going to take my improved store and I'm going to add a check to see if a player already owns the item before they can purchase it. So if you've been following along with the playlist, then you may already have the store. If you don't, uh, you can start right from where I left off by following this link that I'll put in the description. It'll come to this page and you hit these three buttons and then hit edit. And now you'll have the store where I had left off in the last video. So we'll go ahead and open it up and here's my little store. I'm going to go to starter GUI, screen GUI, and in my shop frame, I have this shop script, right? And in the shop script, I have a buy it function and it opened right up to it. So in the buy it function, I do check to see if the item was selected, right? So right here we have like select handgun and the item is selected to handgun or is set to handgun. So if there is an item selected and the money from the leaderboard right here, player leader stats money equals this money. If the value is greater than or equal to price, then we can buy it. But we also want to make sure now that we haven't purchased it already. So the first thing I need to do is check to see if we already have the item. So I will say have item and I'm going to make this a Boolean flag, true or false. And I will check for the item. And let me just pass this item in. It's defined globally, but I'll pass it in as an argument here. The globally within the script. So let's make a function, local function. And it's what? Check for item. And here's my item. And then what I'm going to do is I'll get the character. Whoops, I went too far. I'll get the character, local chr from the player and that's defined globally within the script we're going to assume the character is there because he is purchasing stuff from the store and i will do a for loop through all the character's children parts because if he's holding it it's going to be one level down so i'm going to do a for i and v in pairs char get children if he's holding the gun, it'll be it'll you'll find it in this loop. I'll say if item, that's the item we we want. Like say handgun equals the V name, so it's not like foot or something. It's actually the the weapon that he's holding, the item that he's holding. Then we'll turn return true, and let's print it out. Let's say hey, whoops, what is this? Ah, put these extra parentheses here that I missed, right there. All right, so um, if we find it, let's do a printout so we can see that we found it. We'll say uh, character or player is holding the item. And then I'll just do, I'll write the item in here so we can see what we got. All right, so that's if he's holding it. But now let's check to see if it's in his backpack. Now, if you're storing the item somewhere else, you'll have to do that search somewhere else. But if he's holding it or it's in his backpack, and we're good to go. So this check is going to be almost identical for the backpack, but we're going to say player dot backpack. And we want, oh yeah, get the children. That's the same. That's good. So this is perfect. We're just going to say player has item in backpack. I'll just show you that way I can show you what's going on when we do our check. And then if all those, um, if we get all the way down to the bottom, we didn't find the item anywhere. So we're going to return false. All right. So in our buy it, now we have a Boolean flag to say if we have it or not. So have item is if it's true, we have the item, we don't want to buy it. So I'll say if the item is selected and we have enough money and not have item that we'll purchase else we'll come down here and this is good we didn't select the item but now we want to do an else if for the money because now we have two other possibilities of of failure for the if statement so we'll say else if this is if he has enough money let's just go ahead and say if his money is less than the price then you don't have enough money, brah. And then we'll do another else if. 
and you already have the item. Then message label text equals you already have this item. All right, so that should work. We should be good to go. And we just had to add this little check in here, check for the item. Let's play it, let's test it out. Let's get in there. I'm gonna put my view tab so I can see any messages. I don't see any error messages, so that's good. Let's see if we can buy it with no money. Ah, not enough money, brah. All right, let's get some money. And then we'll buy it. Good, we got it. Let's see if we can buy it again. Ah, player has item in backpack, handgun. All right, let's equip it. Let's try and buy it. Player is holding the item. So there you go, we have a little check. Just make sure that it's not in his backpack and he's not holding it. All right, so hopefully that will help you guys out and I will see you in the next video.